we all wait since a long time for native USB boot on the Raspberry Pi 4. Today I booted the first time like that and I show you how you can do it too. No need for an SD card anymore. Hooray! Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. First things first, this is not yet the final release and you do the upgrade on your own risk. As usual. But it's not too complicated. We have to change two things. First, the content of the EEPROM on the Raspberry Pi 4. And second, some files on the boot directory of the new SSD. As a preparation, we create an SD card and an SSD using the standard tools like Raspberry Pi Imager or Balena Etcher. Put the newest buster on both. Then insert the SD card in your Pi and boot. Then update Raspbian as usual and add RPI update. Say yes to everything. Reboot and install RPI dash EEPROM to change the content of the EEPROM. Now we have to change the place where the new content of the EEPROM sits. We do that with editing this file and replace critical with beta. Save it. Now we are ready to program the EEPROM with this command. And afterwards reboot. If you want to check the bootloader version, you can do this with this command. Yes, it is May 15th version. And with this command you can check the bootloader configuration. Check if boot order equals 0xf41. 4 is for booting from USB and 1 is booting from the SD card. Now we are done with the Raspberry and can go on with the new SSD. We have to copy all .elf and .date files from our SD card into the boot directory of our new SSD. For that we have to mount the SSD and copy the files from the SD card to the SSD. Shut down, remove the SD card, power up and pray. Here everything is ok and my Pi runs without an SD card. Finally. Thank you Raspberry Pi team. As always you find all the relevant links in the description. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. Thank you. Bye.